If you're getting anything out of these videos, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It lets me know to keep doing them. Um, so today I'm going to go over an advanced exercise for jazz drumming. So let's get into it. Okay, you've heard everyone just play a standard jazz groove. Okay, but today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go quite a bit more advanced. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to build it just a little bit. So I've given you exercises as simple as... Okay, very, very simple. All that does is just build some coordination as far as playing consistently, playing one, three on the snare, two and four on the snare, and vice versa with the kick. So today, we're going to go a little bit further as we did in one of the previous lessons. This is specifically going to go into an advanced level. So if you're not an advanced drummer, this lesson probably isn't for you. Okay, so we did some exercises that were... All right, and then we reversed it. And then we played it differently. So. So now we're going to go into uh, the more advanced version of this exercise. So everyone knows what a paradiddle is. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. All right. And everyone knows that you, play, that you can play it around the kid, but we're going to play it in the groove uh, okay, so we actually went over uh, a straight ahead exercise, which is... Okay, that's just playing straight, a straight ahead. But this is going to be where we're going to play instead of... Two, three, four. We're going to play it in, in triplets. So, so one, two... Three, four. Okay. Except we're going to play with the, instead of my right hand, my right foot and my left hand. And then we're going to, then we're going to add it to the swing pattern. So this isn't an exercise to practice over and over and over. Practice it with a metronome because it actually takes a lot of coordination. It seems like it's an easy exercise, but it's not easy at all. Again, this is definitely when you get into an advanced level. What this does is it just builds a little bit of independence and, and strength and coordination between your kick, snare, hat, and your ride. And it's a great exercise you, and, you, and then you can break it up after you kind of get it down to where it's comfortable. It has to be comfortable for you before you can actually start incorporating stuff like that. So, here we go. And then 
adding that. So work on that. That's a really, really, really good exercise to to work on uh, for the future, and uh, and something that once you uh, get comfortable with it, you can actually start incorporating it with your uh, with your playing live or in the studio. But uh, but you'll end up breaking it up into certain partials to make it actually fit with the music. But it's a great exercise to do to make it feel good for you. All right. There you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know that you're getting some things out of this. Um, I'll keep posting if you do. So, um, so cheers.